nationwide probably uh, is preventing involvement. You know, making sure our parents are here um, to come out and, and support us. Mm -hmm. And we can, cause we can call and do outbound messages and things like that, but we need to see that face-to-face -face conversation yeah. with them um, so that they can, we can tell them that this is what we need from you. One of the things that we've mm -hmm. seen in our successful schools, uh, particularly our successful high-poverty schools, is they know how to do outreach to the parents. Because there's a lot of parents who, frankly, are intimidated by principals in suits. Hey, this year. So I went down and I said, tell me, what did you do to turn this school around? And one of the things they talked about are some of the exact same things you just spoke about. One, getting the community involved, getting the board involved, getting the parents involved, getting the students involved, uh, and have everybody sharing a common vision, and not letting small, poor, rural be an excuse. And uh, so I'm really pleased with the things I'm hearing from you because I know it works if yes. done properly. We don't say we want to train you how to be a better parent. So if you uh, advertise uh, parent training, nobody's going to show up. Uh, if you advertise a spaghetti dinner, you know those Mueller's people give you free spaghetti. Have you got any of that? <laughs> yeah. And, but sometimes um, a challenge can be how flexible that, that funding is. Yeah, and I would like to see more flexibility. And Dr. Longshore has heard me say that. You know, that the needs in an affluent suburban school are usually or often uh, far different than a poor rural school. And vice versa. Which is why I advocate yeah. flexibility in staffing. You know, there's rules that say you got to have so many assistant principals. But we've got really rural schools where they've got the middle school and the high school are combined. And the superintendent says, tells me, I don't need two principals for 200 middle schoolers and 180 high schoolers. We've got a case here. You know, so what do I want to do? I want to give the principals flexibility. What happens? I get attacked by the union-like teachers' lobby groups for wanting to put 50 children in the classroom. Well, that's nonsense. That's just pure politics. I want to give superintendents and principals the flexibility to assign teachers and staff where they're needed. Dr. Longshore supported me on that, but the, 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 uh, the, the teachers' lobby group sent out inflammatory, nonsensical emails to all of their members saying Dr. Zace wants to put 50 kids in a classroom. That's crazy. I wasn't born yesterday. I'm young, but... I